Good morning, scholars. Today for math, we are going to continue with subtraction, but this time we're working with the number 10. And just like last week, you guys are going to work on the problems independently and then come back and check your work. So go ahead and grab your scratch piece of paper and a pencil and let's get started. So our first problem says, Madison had 10 balloons. Right now, I want you guys to draw the draw, draw your drawing of the 10 balloons in a five way. Go ahead and pause and draw the 10 balloons using the five way drawing method. Okay, now that you guys drew your five way drawing, I'm going to draw mine, double check that yours is correct and matches mine. So remember the five-way drawing, I need to draw 10 circles. So let's go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So now that I drew my 10 circles, I need to make sure it's the five way drawing. And that way I need to make sure I drew color in the first five circles. So one, two, three, four, and remember, the five-way drawing is just an easier, quicker way to see how two numbers are broken up. In this case, five and five more make 10. So we can see that we colored five, and so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So you can either see that five and five more make 10, or you can go five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So now that we have our five way drawing representing our 10 balloons, let's go ahead and continue to read the problem. So it says four of the balloons were not blown up yet. Now remember, just like yesterday, you are going to circle part of your five way drawing to help you distinguish which two numbers you're going to be subtracting. So in this case, Let's do red so I can see. It says four of the balloons were not blown up yet. So I'm gonna count four and I'm gonna circle those four. And that tells me that those are the four that were not blown up yet. So one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna circle those four. Now, scholars, now that you have your five-way drawing completed and it shows how many were not blown up yet, go ahead and pause and begin working on your number bond and then complete your sentence. Come back and we will check our work. Okay, so scholars, remember your number bond, your biggest circle or the top circle represents your total. And our problem told us that Madison had 10 balloons. So in our big circle, you should have the number 10. And then the problem says four of the balloons were not blown up yet. So one of our parts will equal the number of balloons that were not blown up yet. That is four. And in our other circle, we're gonna see how many balloons were blown up with. Let's go ahead and label, if you haven't already, label the your five-way drawing that represents the numbers of balloons that were blown up. So remember, I circled how many balloons were not blown up. So I'm just gonna count and label the rest. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So 10 minus four will give me six. 10 minus four will give me six. So now 
you should have already filled in your number sentence. Remember, scholars, in subtraction, you always start with your biggest number. So 10 minus, and it told us in the problem, four of the balloons were not blown up. So four goes here because that's the number that we knew in our problem. And the, we can also see that the problem is asking how many balloons were blown up. So our number here represents how many balloons were blown up. And we know that six balloons were already blown up. So 10 minus four equals six. So 10 take away four is six. 10 take away four is six. Okay, scholars, let's go ahead and go on to the next problem. Jacoby had 10 toy trains. Go ahead and pause right now and draw your five-way drawing representing Jacoby's toy trains. So scholars, now that you drew your five-way drawing, let's go ahead and check your work. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I drew 10 circles because Jacoby had 10 toy trains. And we're doing the five way, so I need to make sure I color in my first five. One, two, three, four, five. So two trains had no wheels and the rest did. Go ahead and circle how many trains did not have wheels on your five-way drawing. So you're circling how many did not have wheels. So it says two. Two trains had no wheels. I'm gonna go ahead and circle. Two. And the rest did. So now that you have your drawing set up, go ahead and fill in your number bond and your number sentence. Come back and check your work. So scholars, now that you've completed your number bond and your number sentence, we're going to go ahead and quickly fill in the information and I'm going to walk you through why I picked the numbers and the spots that I did. So our big circle. You guys should already know that this represents how many toy trains Jacoby had all together. 10. So 10 goes here. And our first little circle or our first part represents the number that tells us how many had no wheels. Two. And our second part, this number represents how many did have wheels. You guys should have labeled to help you figure out quickly what this number is. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, eight already had wheels. Now, I actually want to show you something. Remember our five-way drawing? You color the first five, and then you can count on. So I noticed that after I separated the two trains that did not have any wheels, I could look at my picture and see that I had five, six, seven, eight that did have wheels. So once you separated, the part that did not have wheels or the trains that did not have wheels, you can look at your five-way drawing and see how many did and quickly count. Remember, five, let's count on, six, seven, eight. Pat yourself on the back if you notice that too. Okay, let's go ahead and fill in our number sentence. So our number sentence, 10, because Jacoby had 10 toy trains total minus two. I put 
two here because that's what the problem told me. Two trains had no wheels and the rest did. And the problem was asking how many trains had wheels. So our final number or our equal number has to represent how many, how many trains had wheels. We know that the answer is eight. So 10 minus two equals eight. 10 minus two equals eight. Or 10 minus two equals eight. 10 minus two equals eight. Okay, scholars, so I'm gonna challenge you. Instead of breaking it up, drawing the five-way drawing, then doing the number sentence and the number bond, you're gonna do the entire thing all together at once and then come back and check your, pro your problem. So I will read the problem out loud to you and then you're gonna pause this video and you're gonna continue to work by yourself until you're ready to check. Aubrey had 10 dresses. Seven were purple and the rest were blue. How many are blue? Go ahead and pause the video and begin working. Okay, so now that you've done your five-way drawing, your number bond, and your number sentence, you are ready to check your answer with mine. So I'm gonna start off with my five-way drawing. It says Aubrey had 10 dresses, so I need to draw 10 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I drew my 10 dresses, and I know that we're doing the five way drawing, so I need to. Color in the first five. One, two, three, four, five. Next, the problem says seven were purple and the rest were blue. So I need to go ahead and I need to color in or circle the purple dresses. In this case, I need to circle a total of seven. So remember, the five-way drawing is to help you be quicker about counting. So I have my five, because I colored in the first five, so five, now let's count on, six, seven. So I'm gonna circle my seven, and I'll double check. So I have five colored, six, seven, and the rest are blue. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna Begin filling in my number bond. 10. Remember, I filled in 10 in the hole because Aubrey had 10 dresses. And then my first part is seven. And seven represents the number of purple dresses that she had. Now let's count. One, two, three were blue. And I know that three were blue because the part that I circled or the seven that I circled, the problem says seven were purple. So I circled the seven purple and one, two, three are blue. Now let's fill in our number sentence. So 10, because you always start with your biggest number in subtraction, 10 minus seven equals three blue dresses. Remember the problem asks how many are blue? So 10 minus 7 equals 3. 10 minus 7 equals 3. Or 10 take away take away 3 are 7. I messed up. 10 minus 7 equals 3. 10 minus 7 equals 3. Go ahead and get ready for the exit ticket. Choose the missing number. Ooh, this one might be tricky. Go ahead and pause and challenge yourself to choose the missing number. So now that you've chosen 
your answer. Let's go ahead and double check to see if you got the same answer as I did. So it says choose the missing number, four plus six equals blank. So this problem can be written, rewritten as four plus six equals blank. So let's go ahead and get started on a drawing. Four is our first number, so I'm gonna go ahead and make four circles. One, two, three, four. And it says plus six. So you're adding six more circles. So four, and then let's add six more. One, two, three, four, five. Six. And let's go ahead and label so we don't make any mistakes. So one, two, three, four. Let's count on five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So now I know that 4 plus 6 equals 10. Or 4 plus 6 equals 10. Not 9, but 10. Go ahead and pat yourself on your back if you got the correct answer and have a wonderful day. I will see you guys tomorrow for another math lesson. Bye.